up, don't give up. And you will find the people. What if David hadn't shown up? What if he didn't want to take the lunchbox because the brothers is going to mock him? What if he hadn't shown up? What would history look like? What if a Martin Luther King didn't show up? And we can go on and on and on. And what happens when you and I do not show up? The second thing I want to talk, and that's chapter two, and I want to just to focus on that. Show up for the right battle. Let me say that again. What I'm dealing with in this book and what I'm trying to share with people, let's show up for the right battle. Many of us, we've been worn out because we're fighting the wrong battles. But stay within your lane, focusing on what God has called you to do and to be. Face the giant that He has called for you. So when I'm facing that giant that is in front of me, I cannot be distracted by all these other things. And this is part of what the enemy is doing. He's trying to wear us out and we're fighting the wrong fights. And he's trying to wear you out. And the best place to deal with the enemy, if you want to wear the enemy out, find the hard work of rest. You're wearing the enemy out by resting. And rest becomes your weapon of warfare.